What is going on you guys? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven and as you've seen over the last couple days I've been reviewing a ton of Razer keyboards. I bought five of them. There are five current offerings to test them out and eventually at the end of the five reviews do a side-by-side -side comparison or shootout between all of Razer's keyboards. So I've already done the uh, entry-level Sinosa, the Huntsman with the purple switches, the Black Widow Lite in the Stormtrooper design, then the Black Widow Elite with orange buttons, which is a fantastic keyboard. I'm probably keeping that one. And then uh, now we've got the Ornata Chroma here, which is actually mecha membrane. So it's not fully mechanical, but it's kind of a hybrid between a membrane and mechanical. It's very interesting and it has a very unique clicky feeling. So let's test her out. Alrighty guys, we are over here at the Stormtrooper Station, aka my desktop setup, and we are going to crack into this bad boy here. Uh, you think I'd be sick of reviewing these Razer keyboards, but I'm not. The more the merrier. So, unboxing knife today, we're going to use the Fire Goddess again, that's what we used last time. So, let's stick with it. So, this has their Mecha Membrane keys, which is uh, for soft cushion touch with a crisp tactile click. So you get that rubber plunger feel of a traditional membrane, but you also get that crispy tactile click that you get with a mechanical. So it's, it's really interesting. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, honestly. And then you get your, of course, Razer Chroma, so you can get all your sweet ass RGB effects and coordinate it with all your Razer peripherals. All right, so as with all the keyboards, except for the old uh, budget banger Sinosa, you have this little uh, envelope flap in here, which has your instruction manual, a thank you letter, some stickers, basically, you know, traditional Razer fanfare. It's gonna say, welcome to the cult of Razer in there. You're gonna have a plastic cover on here to cut, protect from dust and dog drool and semen and a bunch of other crap. Pop this off, nothing in the bottom. There is gonna be a braided cable up top plastic cover right there and this one being one of their higher end keyboards does come with laser cut foam with the Sinosa you're not going to get any of that and then this one does have a padded wrist rest I'm not sure if it's the same as the one with the uh, Black Widow Elite if it is it is super comfortable and I'm looking forward to using that all right so you have a braided cable pretty long it looks like about a 10 footer I'd say which I don't really think you need for a keyboard because you're just plugging it directly to a PC. Um, so the design on this one is very interesting. It has like a gloss line around the outside. It's all plastic. So, you know, I'd say the build quality is better than the Sinosa, but worse than all the other uh, metal-based mechanical keyboards that they offer. Uh, you have your status lights up here. You have... Eh, it looks like a little cable way where you can, you know, decide to run your cable out the side or out the top. Uh, this one is the only keyboard that I've seen that has this device here as a kickstand. Like, even the Sinosa had that two-stage where you, um, you know, could have it just gently propped up or severely propped up for a higher wrist angle. Um, you do have rubber pads here. There are no rubber pads on the bottom of the kickstand, which is a little, a little surprising and disappointing. But let's see about these keys, because this, this mecha membrane is just really, really an interesting concept. So... Wow. It honestly... feels like a mechanical. It, feel, it definitely feels like a full-blown mechanical. But I think because it has that membrane design, it's probably a little bit better if you spill a drink on it as far as you know being sealed off from the elements because it has like a rubber plunger or something in there Let's see if you can pop off one of these keys okay interesting interesting so that is what's in there you get like a traditional rubber plunger design and then you have a little metal prong in there which is your um, actual actuation which is very similar to like a mechanical so it it's a very interesting design, and I kind of like it because you get the 
some of the sealed off waterproofness and a little bit of that soft, quiet feeling from a membrane, but you're also getting a tactile click like a mechanical. So I definitely advise you to go to uh, Walmart or Best Buy or something and try these keys out. So all of Razor's packages have this cutout right here where you can reach in and feel the keys. I would recommend setting up all the Razer keyboards next to each other and trying out their keys because they're all very different but also very good in their own special ways. Like the purples are very light to click um, and have a really satisfying click. They're kind of noisy but it is what it is. Uh, the oranges in my opinion are absolutely perfect. You have to give them a little muscle to click but they have a great snapback and they just feel super premium. Um, these mecha membranes feel really good. <laughs> like, it's very satisfying. I feel like this would be really good for typing. Um, we'll see, we'll mess around in Word doc a little bit, but it just, it feels really good. The build quality feels a little bit lesser so than some of the other Razer keyboards because this is a full plastic build. There is no metal on this whatsoever, so that's obviously to keep build costs down. All right, installing a quick update, then I'll run you guys through all the lighting effects in Synapse 3 app. All right, so let's pop this wrist rest out of here. All right. Okay, so this is the same material as the... Oh, that's nice, it, it's, it's magnetized as well, just like the Black Widow Elite. So this is virtually the same exact wrist pad. I mean, this thing feels so good on the wrist. Like, I don't know what material this is, but it is super supple, super soft. Feels great. I love it. It's mechanical, it just, or mechanical, uh, magnetized. It just quickly comes on and off. Really sweet. Yeah, that's, that's comfortable. All right, so obviously in Synapse, you have game mode, which you can also switch by holding down function, and then uh, the G up here, and that turns your game mode on, as you see by the little, little crosshair logo. And what that does is that disables window key and then uh, alt and tab, so basically they can be dedicated gaming keys and not interrupt your windows. Uh, you also have a macro switch up here, just hold down function, turn that on, and as you see it's now in macro mode. For some reason it turned the lights off. Oh, I guess it changed it to a different effect. Interesting. Turn you off, sir. Anyway. <clears throat> All right, then you also have your lighting effects over here. Where'd my lighting go? What the hell? That's weird. That is very weird, boys. Uh huh. Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. All right, so you have your audio meter, so whenever your speakers make a noise, they light up. You've got your breathing mode, so you can select two different colors, two fade in and out. You have fire, which is this little bad boy. So fire actually looks pretty interesting on this one because it has that, you know, like rubber tray underneath there. It kind of has like a, a different effect to it because you can't see as much light coming through there. It just looks very um, kind of like like muted a little bit, it's pretty nice. So you have a reactive, which is pretty dope. So whatever key you hit, it illuminates. You can change the color and the duration of that. Then you have ripple, and you can choose the color for that. Spectrum cycling, it'll just roll through the spectrum of 16 million colors. You have starlight, where you choose two colors. I'll do green and red, and it just kinda trickles around. You can set the speed for that. You have static, where you can set one color and it'll stay there. 
you have wave and uh, wheel, which goes through the entire spectrum in either across the keyboard or circular, like a wheel. And you can select either clockwise or counterclockwise. So we'll do a quick typing test in 10fastfingers.com, which is like a little typing test kind of thing to see your words per minute. And then after that, we'll do a little bit of gaming, give you my final thoughts, and we'll wrap up. Make sure if you guys enjoy this, you subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a five-way comparison between all of Razer's keyboards tomorrow. You do not want to miss out on that. So if you subscribe, you'll get notified when that drops. So let's see about this here typing, shall we, boys? Off to a good start. Not really. Ah, fucking up, boys. All right, fifty five. Decent. Yeah, it feels pretty good uh, typing and everything. Not bad, not bad, boys. I usually get about six to seven hundred words per minute, so it's a little above that or below average. All right, let's uh, game it up and see how that be like. All right, guys. So after spending about thirty, forty-five minutes gaming with this bad boy. Um, I will say this, it does feel like a full-blown mechanical keyboard. Like, you can't really tell that this is, you know, a hybrid, um, that it even has a rubber plunger under there. It feels like a full-blown mechanical keyboard. These feel to me like the uh, orange keys or the green keys, like some of the clicky tactile ones. Um, they're not light like the purples where you barely touch them and it clicks, but um, it feels really good. The only thing I don't really like about this is... It's missing some of the features that all the other Razer keyboards, including the piece of crap Sinosa have, like the little kickstands that are two-stage. Also, when you hold down function, this is the only one that doesn't illuminate all the uh, keys that you can adjust. It also is the only one that doesn't have status bar, uh, status lights down here that change colors and let you know what macros you're using. Uh, it just has like a traditional, you know, caps lock, nums lock, all that good stuff up there. So that's kind of weird. I feel like this was just produced differently than the other ones. Uh, I do really, really love the wrist rest. Like this thing is phenomenal. I'm pretty sure it's the same one as the Black Widow. It just, obviously they used a different magnet because this one is plastic on the bottom. But um, yeah, overall, I mean, this is a really good mouse or keyboard, especially if you can find it on sale or something like that. But what I recommend with all these Razer keyboards is to go into your Best Buy, Walmart, whatever, and try them all. Like Razer has packaging that has the number keys exposed. So you can sit there and click them and get a feel for them because they all feel very similar, but slight differences. Like they all have that nice mechanical click, but like the purples are really light. The oranges snap back really positively. Um, these ones feel like a great balance. They almost feel like the oranges, which in my opinion are the best Razer keys, um, at least for my fingers and my game style. So I like this a lot, but it's missing a lot of the features that I think it should have. And it just feels like the build quality is really subpar. It feels like it's in the same realm of the Sinosa with the build quality, which is not good. So, um, so far, you know, I'm not going to spoil it with which Razer keyboard I would personally um, take, but this, you know, this is probably, I, I would say, you know, second or third place at least because those keys feel really, really good. Um, just missing so many key features though. All right, guys. See ya.